What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lime SC here, and today we're going to be doing some more amulet crafting, uh, and maybe some grand charm crafting as well, because we've got some grand charms. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of both of those. Now, we're going to talk through a little bit once again. I feel like it's always good to preface crafting with the idea of crafting and some of the math of it and just kind of how it works. I don't want to get crazy into the details because there's just so many details that you can really jump into with all of it, but we're going to go through some of the basics, right? So the first thing that I want to say is with amulets, we are looking for really solid plus two skill amulets, right? We're going to make caster amulets, so they're going to be two skills and... We would love to get up to 20 FCR, but, you know, whatever the amount of FCR that we can get from it, um, we're going to get 5 to 10%, and then if we can get the bonus 10% affix on it and whatever, that's great. Then, of course, you know, things like life and strength and dexterity and resistances and all of those things are beautiful to add on. Um, it's tough to roll really solid amulets, but maybe we'll get a really good one. Who knows? Um, I'd love to find one that we can at least use in some capacity. Uh, and also for our um, Barbarian, I think getting a 5% one is all we need and would be really good. So I kind of want to go and get a 5% one Hi, right there. Thank you, Solar. So um, with that, we'll talk a tiny bit about the math right here as we get into this piece. Uh, so let me do this text. So this right here is the main formula that you need to worry about. Um, and essentially what we are just saying is that your character's level and the level of the amulet both matter for getting the affixes you want, right? Because if you find an amulet in... Um, yeah, this is for gambling, but, uh, if you find an amulet that is, sorry, I need the, uh, that is like very low leveled, then you're not going to be able to roll the high level affixes for it, right? This is just, um, oh, here is what I'm looking for. should be this one so you need the amulet overall to be a high enough eye level to get the affixes um, that you want right and so that's kind of the basic idea right you want to have an amulet that is from a high enough place or you gambled it and it's a high enough level so that it can get the plus two to skills affix, right? Two to druid skills or Amazon or source, whatever it is, right? So that's the main thing that you're going to be focusing on. And the eye level there is going to be your character's level and the item level kind of combined with the crafting. So if you have my character is level 99 because I have a 99 sorceress. So I need at least an 81 to match up to get an eye level of 90, which is what I'm looking for, right? We want eye level 90 there overall after our craft at least. Now, the easiest way to do this is just get a higher eye level amulet, and then you don't have to worry as much about that, right? Um, but the way that a lot of people do it, and the way that I did it here, is I gambled these amulets... And when you gamble an amulet, it's minus five to plus five on the eye level of your character's level. I believe it's minus five to plus five. Um, so this is a 99, so I've got a 96, a 98, a 99, a 94, minus five to plus four, excuse me. Thank you, Warren. So this is the lowest amulet eye level that I can gamble, a 94. So we take this 94 and we craft it together with a jewel an amethyst and a Ral rune in the cube. It takes that eye level, it takes my eye level, and it does the formula to get the middle eye level, which will be like 97 or whatever it is, 96, 97. That's above 90, so it's good. It can get everything we need. So like I say, all of that is just to say, if you get a level 93 character, use that character 
to gamble for an amulet and then use that amulet to craft, you will have at least eye level 90 on every single one of those amulets and be able to get all of the affixes. So that's really the most important thing to note. If you're using Pluggy, and let's say you only have like a level 92 character, whatever it is, or a 91, or a 90, or whatever, you'll want to make sure that you're looking at the actual eye levels of each amulet. And remember, this is only going to, this isn't the required level, this is the item level, which isn't shown in regular Diablo 2. You can only find this with a mod. And you'll have to like specifically find the amulets with a higher eye level and pick those ones out and use those for crafting or whatever. Um, jewel level does not matter. It is all just the amulet and your character. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing and uh, gives you guys a simple enough understanding of how crafting works. And like I said, this is the crafter amulet amulet formula put them all together craft and this creates a caster ami which will give you mana regen mana and fcr five to ten percent then all of the other mods that can roll on it will just roll whatever you know like just anything basically um you can calculate eye level based on monster level that dropped yes I level equals M level, and in hell, M level equals A level, with the exception, of course, of champions are plus two and a unique monster is plus three, assuming it's not a super unique monster, which will have its own M level and its own stuff. Um, so, first amulet, bust. But yes, hopefully all of that makes sense and isn't too crazy. Ooh curses you were good until that point <laughs> it's all right oh dang man 17 mf 14 all res oh that would have been nice that would have been nice those are like those bottom two mods are mods i would love to have with just like something nice up top Ooh. Only plus one paladin. So the big thing that you really want to get... Ooh, okay. This is actually solid. Perfect, perfect. This is actually really good. I needed a two barb, 5% FCR uh, amulet for my berserk barb. So this is actually solid, and we get eight res and 5% MF on it as well. Very happy. That is that is a winner right there. Very happy with that. Pretty low rolls. I mean, I just wanted plus to skills with a little bit. Sure, I would love more magic find and more resistances and whatever. But, like, this is, you know, the basic of what I wanted. So I'm very happy with that. No skills on that one. And once again, I only needed 5% FCR, which is always guaranteed. Every amulet will always have at least 5% FCR on it. Um, ooh, teleport charges. So there was no issues there. Dang. We need a, uh, I want to like get the, the higher percentage. So like I said, you're always going to get 5 to 10% FCR. But if you can roll the rare mod to get 10% FCR, then that'll add on top. So you get 15 to 20% FCR, which is where you really get into why these amulets are so desired. That's where you really get into the juicy stuff. Mm-hmm. So nothing, nothing quite yet. Like I said, I'm happy we got the Barbami. Because I wanted one of those, but 
I like the res on that. Yeah, plus two and 10 FCR are rare, and that's why it makes it so difficult to get an amulet that's really solid. To get a two plus 17, 15, 20 FCR or whatever is just... Just hard. One Necro, ten. It's just so hard to roll in this game. Err. Alright. So we need one more amulet. That's what makes it fun? It is. It is what makes it fun. Two Amazon 10 FCR. Uh, I mean, there's literally nothing else on it, but uh, we can we can have it over there as a thing that we might, in some very rare case, want. Zon FCR Amis are pretty lame. Yeah, and so here you can see also this one has 107 to mana. That's because we rolled the um, affix that adds like up to 90 mana on top of the mana already from before, right? Because you, you're getting mana regardless. So this has 10 mana. This has 14 mana. So this is the of the worm, I think is what the affix is called. Yeah, whale is life. I think worm is mana. Ooh, 21 MF. Really not getting any good plus twos. Worm is only 41 to 60. What's the one that goes up to 90? To Marshall. Bahamut. Ah! Oh! Ah! Why aren't you plus two? Why aren't you plus two, man? I know, and it's low on affixes as well. Still can be used for getting breakpoints. And there's a plus two. 16 to strength on that as well. Mm. What's the... I want to see the assassin breakpoints again. FCR 65. I'm trying to see if this has like any use. <laughs> uh, 32 fire res. I mean, it's, it's okay. I like the fire res on it, yeah. Oof. So many just plus ones or zeros. Man. Yeah, it, Bahamut's can't spawn on a craft, so it would be worm. Yeah. Dang. Nice. Here we got 16 all res, 10 strength on it. I like those rolls. But missing, missing the goods. Last one. Ooh, we got a two pally. If it was a little higher, that'd be nice, but we'll take it. Overall, meh, mediocre. This one almost turned into something real nice. If that was 219 for Druid, oh, that would be so good. Because you could get to that 99 breakpoint. point. 
That would be really nice. Or try and get to the 157 with it even, maybe. Get like a circlet, whatever. 163, is that the break point? Oh, 163. You're right. So, yeah, if you get into a 5, though, I mean, that gets you to, like, 164, and mm, that would have been nice. Can we try and make some baller blood gloves? I don't have as much, but, yeah, 163 could be a thing. Um, Where do I have... Let me actually take this barb out. Where am I keeping my crafteds? Where did I do it? Here. Okay. So I was using this two war cries one before. What did I replace it with? What do I have? I have a High Lords on right now. So it's not this character. Wait, yes it is, because 50, 100. So I'm using that right now. A gift for you. And is High Lords. Receding? I don't know. I've been here so long it's hard to tell Kappa. It's required level 89 anyways, so we'll have to put it away for now. That's probably better than what we'll want to use, though. Thanks, Jim. It's not receding hairline. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so let's go back. And now... Where do I have my... My grand charms. A gift for you. Thank you, Isabel Frog. Okay, so now we will get into rolling grand charms. Now, you want a grand charm Fresh that is meat. going to be at least eye level ninety three? I think that sounds right. Um, 91? 90, no, I think it's 93. Regardless, it doesn't matter. The only way you're getting the Grand Charm is from Bale, Diablo, or Nilithak. So, <laughs> doesn't matter. It has to be one of those charms, and this is to roll a skiller that can also roll up to 45 life. And there you go. <laughs> there is 45 life. Oh, if only that had a skill on it. Gosh dang it. That hurts. We did it, chat. Congratulations. Now, it's actually going to have a slightly less chance to roll a skiller than a lower level charm. Because it can roll literally any affix. So, odds of that have gone down. But, okay, come on. But this is how you get those perfect GCs. This one Grand Charm is going to burn everything out. Are we going to get a single Skiller? Don't 
Three, fourteen, six. Probably not enough. Forty-two to life. Uh, I'm gonna keep the gold find for our gold find barb. Also, that one doesn't deserve any more rolls. Wow! Zero! We got zero skillers. I kind of want to save these for some blood gloves. Yeah, 40's max gold find, so that's close. Alright, well. Such is life. Diablo 2. Such is life. Oopsies. Stay there, Mr. Tyrells. Uh, thanks, peace. Let's get our gold find barbarian. 30, 22, 18. Okay, so we'll get rid of the 18. And put the 38. Oops. Cool. Got to work up our gold finding. Why not name myself Mr. Lama DC for Diablo Craft? I mean, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> 